members of the Battling Gerbils Motorcycle battling Gang. Uh, <laughs> we call it the gang only because club or organization doesn't fit, and we're really a benevolent and protective organization. I have a, a great, great curiosity and a great desire to get out there, and uh, the spirit is, is one that's willing to try it. Sea kayaking is an increasingly popular way to see Southeast Alaska. Paddlers from all across the country plan major expeditions to come to our most popular destinations, like Glacier Bay or Misty Fjords, Tracy Arm, Admiralty Island, or the Outer Coast. Hello, I'm Scott Foster, and welcome again to Rain Country. And we begin this week in a kayak, but not to start a major expedition. Instead, we're going to take short, near-shore trips in three different Southeast communities. I'm from the Midwest, so I, I just have seen it and have felt um, intrigued by uh, the, like I said, the, the being so close to the water, it scares me and it intrigues me. More and more people are intrigued with this sport. For those just starting out, nearshore trips, taken after some instruction, offer the safest way to begin. Carol, looks like a nice day. Looks like a day. Well, I guess uh, to begin with, you haven't kayaked before? No. <laughs> well, what we'll do is, um, as far as kayaking, one thing that I really like to do first before I even leave the house is to go and call up the marine forecast. And I called them this morning and they said, winds less than 15 knots, sea is less than three feet. So we've got a really calm day today. So it's a really good day for kayaking. Mm -hmm. Whether taking off on a two week expedition or a two hour paddle, every kayak trip requires the same basic Southeast boating equipment, rubber boots, clothing that stays warm even when wet, rain gear, hats, gloves, and a life jacket. Other gear is specific to kayaks, like the spray skirt, which seals the paddler's waist to the boat's cockpit. And make sure it rides nice and high. So if you do take a wave over your boat, the wave will come over and disperse across the spray skirt and drain, so you won't get wet. Other kayaking equipment should be within easy reach inside the cockpit. Items like a bilge pump, sponge, miscellaneous ropes, and a bailing bucket. 